Sure. All right. Um, great game tonight. Uh, to be expected, obviously, uh, Pepperdine playing a couple man sh short, um, but they came out, played really well in the first half. They were hard to guard, made a lot of threes, and really tested our, our fortitude a little bit. And uh, we were able to defend better in the second half, and we made a lot of shots ourselves. Thank, thank you, uh, Jordan Martino, for trying to bail us out. But that's that's sign of a good team when you have some guys that will they'll step up in a key spot and, and uh, I could be more proud of a guy. Were you angry at halftime? No, it's been a hard week. <laughs> it was a little bit uh, with, uh, you know, just been some changes. And any time, you, you know, that, it's a little bit of a thunderbolt to more to the staff and that. And we're going to be fine. But it's just a little change this late in the season. And um, I didn't have enough emotional energy really to be angry. And uh, it's also Autism Speaks. It's another one that's pretty uh, close to my heart. Um, so I didn't have much, and I kind of – we couldn't – we're at halftime and we're uh, watching the film, and uh, we couldn't get the film going. Usually watch clips. Come on up here, Jordan. We usually watch clips, and I was just like I, – I faked act angry. I was like, hey – and it is that time of year. I was like, hey, you guys figure out what talk – your, talk amongst yourselves to figure it out. You guys have been doing this too long. You know what to do. And So I don't know what was said in there. But obviously, uh, they've been together too long. They've competed together a long time, and they they held it. They they chipped away, and and uh, Pepperdine, you could have we could have folded because I think we went down. We cut into it a little bit, and right they hit two more threes. We're down twelve, and our guys stayed the course and, and just kept competing. It was great. Welcome. Yep. Jordan, the past five games have been uh, the best five games in Jordan Martino's career. What made tonight different? Um, honestly, I came out like every other night. Um, just happened to my shot. Just happened to feel good tonight. Um, I think I just was taking the looks I normally take, and they were just going in. Um, so yeah. Were a couple of those checks? A little bit. A couple of them were. Hey, it's a Jordan shot. He did, I don't believe in that. I mean, <laughs> if he's open, he'll shoot it. There's no, there's not, uh, and and we want him to. And that's that's so. Uh, it's funny because even in the locker room, I was going down the line and telling everyone, I, and Jordan's just kind of like you just. Take him for granted sometimes because the guy guards, he guards the toughest guy every night, and you expect you know he's going to make threes and stretch the defense. Even when he's very effective, he's our most, we're best on the floor when he's out there, period. Offensively, especially because they they guard him so hard. So whatever he he took advantage of it tonight, and Pepperdine was trying to front the post. They're trying to they were doing a good job pressuring us, and they lost him a few times, and he took advantage. Jordan, is it any easier or tougher? Have your offensive game going when you're guarding a guy most of the time. I mean, you're guarding Ross, who's I know is a pretty tough cover. Does that, in some respects, you know, you're so much focused on defense that the offense can kind of flow a little bit? Um, a little bit. Um, I mean, it, it can be tiring sometimes guarding their number one guy, but um, I think I was just the flow of the game. I was just playing within myself, and uh, I just I just felt good throughout the game. Yeah, I'd be. Yeah, I, I think honest. But honestly, the Jordan probably gives up more of his game than anybody, and does it selfless, selflessly, to because he does take. We give him the hardest assignment every night, and expect him to do, you know, take that guy out, and we don't run a lot of stuff for him, and he doesn't complain, doesn't talk much. Of that that's most of our talk in a while. <laughs> Jordan, you shot 85 percent from the field. How big is this for your morale going forward? Um, I mean, it's a confidence booster for sure. Um, again, it felt good tonight. Um, I'm just going to take this, go into the next game, and just keep doing what I do moving forward. Jordan, that's easy to say. I'm sure it's harder to do that. Yeah. Particularly in the last four or five days when you're sitting on struggling. Yeah. Did any doubt creep in your mind the last four or five days? No. Why not? Um, I just know what I'm capable of, and um, I want to help this team win, and I know what this team could do. Um, so I'm excited for what uh, this season could bring. Yeah. This guy's. I said he's he's a hard worker and hard work and it's hard to lose confidence if you put the work in, put the time in. So you know, when when people say they lose their confidence, I, well, it's not something you lose. All right, it really isn't. It seemed like one of the biggest things that let you guys create separation in the final minutes was depth, you know, keeping legs fresh. Was that um, you know, getting big minutes from Tavi and Dimitri tonight? Did that end up making a difference for Jordan and the rest of you guys down the stretch, being able to outrun him? 
Yeah, I, I felt they did. I mean, we still stayed with our four guys on the perimeter, and, and there's some guys, and some of our young guys are coming on, and you, you want to kind of build some depth. We didn't build the depth in the non conference. Um, but, uh, you know, and Dima's had two bad ankle injuries, but it was nice to make shots. But it really, and Tavi's just, he's, he's pretty elite there, and the way they play, um, they play downsize and quick, and they shoot, and they're taking advantage of it. And, and Tavi really, he can kind of cover a lot of things, and uh, he did, and that's that's great. So we need it because Portland's fresh. They didn't play tonight, and we got to go up, fly up there, and play them Saturday night on the road, and um, it'll be a good test for our guys. Um, we'll see.